So this is a common type of question when you're doing infinite series, and that is, what is the, the minimum number of terms we need to approximate the infinite series to within a certain tolerance level? So in this case, my infinite series is 10 over k to the 5 from k1 to infinity, and I want to be within 10 to the negative 7 of the actual infinite sum. Okay, well the integral test is an awesome place to go for this. So even though right, the integral and the, the infinite sum are not the same, we can certainly right, think about them in a, in a similar fashion. So if we just think about the integral of 10 over k to the fifth, um, dk, I guess, from 1 to infinity, right, we could break that up into an integral from 1 to n. So I can do the first n terms, right? of the integral, and then I can add up the rest of them from n to infinity, 10, right? I'm just writing that same integrand over and over, so just using that linearity of, of integrals. So the idea is, is this second part, right? That sum, right, is the, right, the remainder, what we get after we add up the first right, one to n terms. So this, as long as this second integral is less than 10 to the seventh, right, we have enough terms for our approximation. So what we want to do is we just want to take this essentially remainder, find the antiderivative, and then we're going to figure out for what values of n is this last part less than 10 to the seventh. So uh, what do I have? I have 10k to the negative 5dk from n to infinity. So it's an improper integral. If you want to go ahead and do a b at the top, sorry, scroll, um, and then do a limit, you can. I'm going to totally hand wave. I'm so sorry, other um, purists. Um, sorry. So here we go. So I get 10k to the negative 4 divided by negative 4 from n to infinity. So I'm going to actually plug in the infinity. Don't care. 10 over negative 4, 1 over, right? So now I have k's in the bottom to the fourth. So infinity to the fourth minus um, 1 over n to the fourth. Okay. And I need for this to be less than 10 to the negative 7. Well, 1 over infinity to the 4th, that's a 0. So now I have, um, and the two negatives will make that positive. That's nice. So I have 10 over 4 n to the 4th needs to be less than 10 to the negative 7. So uh, I don't have to worry about anybody being negative and affecting my inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, solve this for n. So I'm going to start by cross multiplying, right? The, the 2, the 10 to the negative 7 swaps places with the 4 n to the 4th. Uh, oh, I actually want the 4 to be back over here. Oh, I got a bright light coming in there. Okay, so uh, 10 divided by 10 to the negative 7, well, that'll be a 10 to the 8th over 4 has to be less than n to the fourth. Okay, again, because everybody's positive, I can go ahead and do my fourth root for both sides. So I need the n to be greater than whatever the fourth root of 10 to the eighth over four is. Fourth root, I forgot my little index, sorry, fourth root, there we go. Okay, so I would use my calculator for that, right? This The numerator could be 100 if you wanted, but I have to do a fourth root anyway, so I'm just going to do it all in there. So the way I'm going to put that in my calculator is I'm going to um, write parentheses. I'm going to do 10 to the 8th divide 4, and then I'm going to raise it to the 0.25 power. Okay, so here we go. I've got a uh, place without a glare. Um, nope. Okay, so you're going to have to trust me on this one. So parenthesis, uh, 10 to the 8th divided by 4. Close the parentheses, raise it to the 0.25. And I need an n greater than 70.7. Okay, well, since right n in my series, right, 
n is representing a counting number, so I would need n, the minimum number would be 71 terms.